In this demonstration, we will review turning a pending order into a confirmed start, generating a job card and progressing the order through your production facility and the system. This is done in the order processing section. So you will see a pending order here. This one is a manually added direct order, but it could have come in automatically from any of the web stores. All the pending orders need to be checked for accuracy and changed if needed, then signed off by the appropriate person. Once everything is in order, you simply scroll back to the top of the page and drag the slide bar across to confirmed start. The system will check if you want to change the status of the order and clicking yes will move the order to confirm starts and let production know that the order is ready to go. If you click save and return to the order screen, you will see that it has moved from pending orders into confirmed starts. Whoever is running your production floor can come in here and review all the confirmed starts and decide on the order they will be processed. If they click the order, it will again bring up all the details to check and change and if need be, the job can be sent back to the account manager at this point. If all is good, they simply head back to the slide bar and move the job to in production. This will bring up a wizard to provide further information to generate a job card for your internal production staff. They select the job manager, start date and anticipated completion date. So once we hit OK, the job is now in production. You can then go through to the other tabs and check all the other information is correct. The order schedule is useful for tracking late orders and keeping things on track. You also define the order manager and the account manager. And there is even a function to track the source of the lead to assist with marketing activities. The next tab, credit approval, is whether or not the customer has to pay up front or can provide a purchase order. Administrators can approve and progress an order regardless of its credit rules. However, it is logged against the job of who approved without credit approval, usually reserved for owners and directors. The prepayments tab will show you and allow you to add any prepayments the customer might have done through a payment gateway or online store. The final tab is the delivery schedule for the job. We will keep all this simple right now and hit save. That will now create a job card, move the job to the in production section and add a completion date ready for the press operators. If you click across to the left on production boards and then live jobs, we will see our new job here as a live job. The pre-press or press operator can then choose the job, check for errors, download the artwork and print out the job card. Artwork can also be downloaded in bulk if you have many orders to process at once. If we jump back quickly to order processing, once the job has been completed by production, the press operator can simply jump back into the job details and move the slider across to ready for shipping. The shipping department will now have the job pop up in their section, ready for processing. And similarly, when this has been done, they can move the slider to invoicing and hand the job over to the accounts department via the same process. This concludes my print clouds progressing a job and production board review. Thank you.